Hello friends, how are you doing? In today's video, I want us to look on work experience as the qualification for the Diversity Visa Lottery 2024. The first statement is that you should be having two years work experience within the last five years. And let's look on this website, um, on the travel.state.gov's website. And they are saying for the work experience qualification, if you are qualifying with work experience, you must have two years of experience in the last five years in an occupation which by the United States Department of Labor definitions requires at least two years of training or experience that, that is designated as job zone four or five, classified in the specific vocational preparation SVP rating of 7.0 or higher. And they recommend this. The United States Department of Labor provides information on job duties, knowledge and skills, education and training, and other occupational characteristics on their website. And this is their website. So in this website, you'll find all the information pertaining the qualification through work experience. What type of jobs qualifies you for the DV Lottery 2024 application? And let's move right into this website and see. When you click this link, you will come to this page here. And this page is by the Labor Department of the United States. And uh, I, will, I won't read through this, but I'll just tell you what it has. It clearly defines that you should not have gone to any school. It's not a must that you, you should have gone to any school. But the work that you are working in, that you consider as the qualification for the diversity visa lottery application, should be that work experience that would have required someone in that specification to have undergone a minimum of two years technical training or two years vocational training. And I want to repeat this. The work that you are currently doing and claiming as the qualification should be that work that would have required a person to undergo a training of not less than two years in the academic institution. I hope that is clear. And according to this website, they classify those types of jobs by specific vocational preparation, which is in short SVP. And for your work to qualify you, it should have an SVP, specific vocational preparation, of not less than 7.0. And as you go down here, you'll see that the jobs that are considered to have SVP of 7.0, they are equivalent to the work that a person that has undergone a training of over two years should be able to do. And having known that, then here on top here is a slot where you can search for the title of the job you're doing currently that you're considering as the qualification. For example, if you are a manager in a certain plant, Though you did not attend any academic institution, then come over here and type 
manager and such so when you search you get this managers from various departments maybe you are a manager in a certain firm so you'll come and search for that like this farmers ranchers or agricultural managers and you click on it and let's see what svp level is this position you scroll down until you reach this job zone and as you can see the job zone below here we have an svp of between seven and eight for this title of job and it would have required someone to undergo between two to four years of institutional preparations and this qualifies you though you did not attend any school for the diversity visa lottery application let's take on another example maybe you are a plant electrician let's do it electrician and you search for it and these are the list of electricians and we search for the plant electrician like this electrical and electronics repairer or oh, this is commercial and industrial equipment you click on it let's see what level of svp it has and you scroll down up to the job zone and here it is so it falls on an svp range of between one to two years and that is between six to seven point zero this means that this electrician job title may qualify you or may not depending on the kind of task that you have and also your convince, convincing capabilities remember work experience qualification is very subjective how you will present your documentation to prove your work experience how you will express yourself before the consular officer in terms of job qualification that's what will determine whether you will be given the visa or not so make sure in this scenario you really express yourself and you come with docu document to prove your work experience let's take on the last one and then we see how it goes for example you are a hairdresser let's see there we go let's go down to job zone and for the hairdresser we have an svp range of 1 to 2 years and that is 6.0 to 7.0 svp range in this same same case you may qualify or you may not and therefore it will require you to, to really prove to the consular officer and explain to the consular officer about your work and your roles and make sure that you convince them enough to give you the diversity visa as i come to the end of this video remember that when you are dealing with work experience or academic qualification make sure you carry with you the document proof of what you're doing number two for the work experience don't forget to print this page from the onnet.org that shows your SVP and all 
your duties and activities that you can perform. So make sure you print out this page of this onet.com for your job title and go with it to your interview. Thank you for sticking around and I hope the information has been useful to you. Please consider subscribing if you have not and like the video. But if you're returning one, I say thank you and please like the video. Let's meet in the next episode.